Hi, this is Shinobi on the PS2, one of my favourite games of the era. I'm really hoping it's recording this time, because the last time I recorded, nothing. So we're going to start again. Shinobi on the PS2 released in 2002. Shinobi, of course, coming from the Sega Mega Drive. Brother, I thank you for all that you have taught me until this day. It is time for us to part, Hotsuma. This is the way it must be done. This is ridiculous! You knew this day would come. Their fate lies beyond our reach now. We can do naught but wait and watch. Come. Let us begin. So Shinobi was very popular back in the Mega Drive days, produced by Sega, of course. Um, uh, Shinobi 3 being the most popular. 30 days have passed since the earthquake struck Tokyo. A mysterious golden palace has appeared in the center of the capital. As, you know, it does. And its appearance has brought creatures called Hellspawn into the city. Because I couldn't think of anything else to call it. The, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, get your Shinto on. I think this came after the original Xbox Ninja Guide, and as such, people didn't quite know what to expect in a ninja game anymore, because Ninja Gaiden, of course, rewrote the whole ninja <laughs> game concept. The Oboro clan has come under my absolute control. This is not like. Ninja Gaiden. And their leader makes his way here now. This is an arcade game, and if anything. so begins the final stage of the ritual. Mm. <laughs> Very much in the <laughs> Sega way of doing things. It's not apparent in the first two levels, really. But once you hit level 3, or at least level 2A, it becomes incredibly apparent. A self-proclaimed sorcerer has summoned Hellspawn to wreak havoc on Tokyo. With all of the cabinet members reported dead, the capital is all but paralyzed. I heard what happened to the Oboro. I know this must be difficult for you. The force field is spreading! We can't hold out! We will be arriving momentarily! Why is it all ninja games these days? It's too like ninja dangerous to get me start. closer. With people jumping out of helicopters. I'll get off here. Roger. I don't need no stinking parachute. Ah, just trying to move my mic so I can actually speak without shoes. That should be better. So this is Hotsuma with a badass scarf. I don't know what it is about ja the Japanese ever since Kamen Rider or uh, Cyborg 9, Cyborg 009. Always have to have scarves. It's a very Japanese superhero conceit. It looks damn cool, so I'm not going to complain. The corpses of the Oboro are being used against me. These talismans. Why am I talking like this? I have my revenge. In this world or the next, yep. So here we go. Japanese game, 
left and right axes on the camera are switched. Drives me bonkers. So, you've got a sword attack. Double jump, sword attack, we can lock on, and a dash attack. So it's they call it stealth dash. And that's one of the main components of this game. You won't really get to see it used greatly until later. You also have a kunai, which we can throw. Now you'll see up in the corner it's got a bunch of things glowing. And that's a tate. So as you'll notice, how the Tate is when you have four or more enemies dying or hit by a sword uh, within a certain time limit. Rest in peace. They'll Tate. That becomes much more important later on in the game. But you usually get the man. You should use it to dodge stuff. You get extra points for Tarty, but at this particular moment, I don't actually need anything due to the fact that you don't have the right sword. That doesn't make any sense to you at the moment, but you won't trust me. So I'm not really paying much attention at the moment. Oh. Yeah, our man being hit, this, this is not good. I have I already see a C in my, uh, in my immediate future. Beyond that, we've got wall running, because of course there are nasty things that can kill you. Never get used to the camera. Never. So. And those like, petal things are health. Kunai's stun. I can actually. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do either. Right, whatever. Cool. I'm not doing very well today. It's late. Not on my game. He also does have Ninjutsu, which are these scrolls. But as we're Ninja Guide, we'll. Give them a higher grade if you manage to not use them. Grades, grades matter. Then that's an Ouroboro coin which you can use to unlock extras. Extra characters, extra levels. What the hell is this? Quite no camera. camera is a major problem in this game. You get used to it, but. Uh, I've never done so badly. Uh, you get used to it eventually. But it still is annoying as hell. And then the controls are another contributing factor, not being able to reverse. I see. No. There we go. So that's a, uh, a, uh, an attack that gets used quite a lot of your kunai, as you very saw. Where am I? Okay, fine. Probably get some help from that. Oh, god damn it, camera. Uh. They'll stay there until. Now with the Tartes, as long as you, uh. Why is this one? Manage to kill something within the time limit before it breaks, it'll extend the time limit. So I think it's about five seconds between each, uh, each stroke that you have. 
to be able to, you know, extend your Tate. Oh, here's another Aura Boral coin. And I have three Aura Boral coins. When I originally had this on the PS2 back in the day, I managed to get all of them. This has been regarded for a long time as being a very difficult game. I think it was before the advent of you know, Demons and Dark Souls, so I think in today's climate I don't think that would mean much. Anyway. Boss time. Bosses arrive every 30 seconds, pretty much. So that's the lock on. It will probably straighten it here. The annoying thing is that if this was later in the game. Oh, god damn it. Come on. This was later in the game, that would have killed it. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a hack and you know, kill the damn thing. Eventually. Oh, I can wait for it to sh start shooting its. those missiles, if you explode them near it, it takes damage from those missiles, which is pretty cool. So if you time it right, you can actually kill them in like two or three shots. But at that point in time, I wasn't particularly interested in doing that. I'm sure there are videos of people doing a far better job of this on YouTube. Ageha! Ageha! You have no qualms about fighting your clansmen, even if they are already dead. Kabushi-sama told me what happened. I guess the Oboro village truly was destroyed. You left the Oboro clan. These are not the affairs of a rogue The ninja. Oboro are dead! You are the leader of nothing! Their death shall be avenged by my blade. I do not need your help. Wait a second. Leave here at once. Get out of my city. See, yep. stir of my life. I think I managed to get an S once. Anyway, flashback. Moritsune, stay back, Hosuma. You are the leader of the Oboro now. You must. Be strong. Hurry. Take the sword. Take Akujiki. Do not forget. My spirit shall forever be by your side. I'm rolling my eyes. Just to see you. Uh, now we come into the bit where it gets a bit annoying. Platforming is not this game's strongest suit due to its um, camera. And yet, platforming does comprise quite a bit of it. So let's, let's take a look here. 
there are ways to get that. Quite easy ways actually. Wall running is a skill that does not really run out. Oh well. So, yeah, everything's back to fun. Fall in a, a ravine, you're dead. I've, I've switched the controls. So usually you have stealth dash on a X and jump on circle, but I switched it to a more sensible X to jump and circle dash. But sometimes it's very easy to forget that. There you go. Get down here. Don't like those things. So here's another example of hit him in the deal. Top dead. Never gets boring. Never overused, never gets boring. So I need to go and get that coin. We do it the same way we did the other thing. We just pretty much walk there. See, I've already got that coin from a previous recording session actually. Which didn't go to plan, I'm rather hoping this one does. Because it just didn't show any uh, video. That will open the gate. Um, if I remember correctly, the stealth dash is... reset it by attacking or, or targeting somebody. Thus, it can be led quite easily to use as a way of getting around an environment without touching the I would go and get that overall coin, but I'm kind of worried that I would end up dying and that would be rather boring for us all. So let's just keep moving. Okay, here we go. Here's an example of this. Now, last time I tried this, it didn't quite work. Well. There we go. So you saw it there. I reset my stealth dash after I tarted one of the bear, the flying things. Because there are only three of these guys, can't part over. It's four plus. I think the most I've ever tartated in one go is twelve. As you can imagine, that can be a bit extreme. Here, the more points you get. And what do points mean? Points mean prizes. Higher scores. Tasty. Oh. 
there are ways of getting around. Oh, jeez. Do um, include using the uh, dash reset. Now, who could this so be? The last of the vermin has arrived. I know a guy with long grey hair. Who's a ninja? Death, so dies the Oboro bloodline. Even the mighty Bushi like lies dying on the steps of the Wearing the same armor as I am. No Master idea who he is. Bushi. Huh? Oh, Akujiki. Yeah. Who could this masked man be? My suffering. My taste the torture that I endure. My storyline. Hi, this is Shinobi on the PS2, one of my favourite games of this era. I'm really hoping it's recording this time, because the last time I recorded, nothing. So we're going to start again. Shinobi on the PS2 released in 2002. Shinobi, of course, coming from the Sega Mega Drive. Brother, I thank you for all that you have taught me until this day. It is time for us to part, Hotsuma. This is the way it must be done. This is ridiculous! You knew this day would come. Their fate lies beyond our reach now. We can do naught but wait and watch. Come. Let us begin. So Shinobi was very popular back in the Mega Drive days, produced by Sega, of course. Um, uh, Shinobi 3 being the most popular. 30 days have passed since the earthquake struck Tokyo. A mysterious golden palace has appeared in the center of the capital. As, you know, it does. And its appearance has brought creatures called Hellspawn into the city. Because I couldn't think of anything else to call it. The, um... Yeah, get your Shinto on. I think this came after the original Xbox Ninja Guide, and as such, people didn't quite know what to expect in a Ninja game anymore, because Ninja Gaiden, of course, rewrote the whole Ninja <laughs> game concept. The Oboro clan has come under my absolute control. This is not like. Ninja Gaiden. And their leader makes his way here now. This is an arcade game, and if anything. And so begins the final stage of the ritual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very much in the <laughs> Sega way of doing things. It's not apparent in the first two levels, really. But once you hit level 3, or at least level 2A, it becomes incredibly apparent. A self-proclaimed sorcerer has summoned Hellspawn to wreak havoc on Tokyo. With all of the cabinet members reported dead, the capital has all been paralyzed. I heard what happened to the Oboro. I know this must be difficult for you. The force field is spreading! We can't hold out! We will be arriving momentarily! Why is it all ninja games these days? It's like too ninja dangerous to get with people jumping out of helicopters. I'll get off here. Roger! Ah, oh, that would be a stinking parachute. Ah. Dropping my mic so I can actually speak without shoes. That should be better.
So this is Hotsuma with a badass scarf. I don't know what it is about Jap the Japanese ever since Kamen Rider or uh, Cyborg 9. Cyborg 009. Always have to have scarves. It's a very Japanese superhero conceit. But it looks damn cool, so I'm not going to complain. The corpses of the Oboro are being used against me. These talismans. Why am I talking like this? My revenge. In this world or the next. Yep. So here we go. Japanese game, left and right axes on the camera are switched. Drives me bonkers. So, you've got a sword attack. Which, double jump, sword attack, you can lock on, and a dash attack. So it's, they call it stealth dash. And that's one of the main components of this game. You won't really get to see it used greatly until later. You also have a kunai, which we can throw. Now you'll see up in the corner that you've got a bunch of things glowing. And that's a tate. So as you'll notice, when the Tate is when you have four or more enemies dying or hit by a sword and within a certain time limit. Rest in peace. Bell. Tate. That becomes much more important later on in the game. But usually at the moment, you just use it to dodge stuff. You get extra points for Tarte, but at this particular moment, that is actually due to the fact that you don't have the right sword. You might be any sense to your opponent, but you won't trust me. So I'm not really paying much attention at the moment. Oh. Yeah, oh man, I'm being hit. This, this is not good. I have I already see a C in my, uh, my immediate future. Beyond that, we've got wall running, because of course there are nasty things that can kill you. Never get used to the camera, never. So. And those like, petal things are help. Kunai's stun. Life more easy. I can actually. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do either. Well, whatever. Oh, no. I'm not doing very well today. It's late. Not on my game. He also does have Ninjutsu, which are these scrolls. But as we're going to guide your. Give them a higher grade if you manage to not use them. Grades, grades matter. Now that's an Ouroboro coin which you can use to unlock extras. Extra characters, extra levels. What the hell is this? Camera is a major problem in this game. You get used to it, but. Uh, Never done so badly. Uh, you get used to it eventually, but it still is annoying as hell. And then the controls are another contributing factor, not being able to reverse. I see. Right. There we go. So that's it. Uh, 
a uh, an attack that gets used quite a lot of your kunai assist very soon. Uh, where am I? Where get some health from? Oh, damn it, camera. Uh. Oh, stay there until. Now, with the Tartes, as long as you. Uh, I just want to here. you manage to kill something within the time limit before it breaks, it'll extend the time limit. So I think it's about five seconds between each ta uh, which each stroke that you have to be able to you know extend your tate. Oh, here's another aura borrow coin. And I have three aura borrow coins. When I originally had this on the PS2 back in the day, I managed to get all of them. This has been regarded for a long time as being a very difficult game. I think it was before the advent of you know, Demons and Dark Souls, so I think in today's climate, I don't think that would mean much. Anyway. Boss time. Bosses arrive every 30 seconds, pretty much. So that's the rock one. It will probably straight me to get. The annoying thing is that if this was later in the game. Oh, god damn it. Come on. If this was later in the game, that would have killed it. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a hack and you know, kill the damn thing. Eventually. Oh, I can wait for it to sh start shooting its. use those missiles. If you explode them near it, it takes damage from those missiles, which is pretty cool. So if you time it right, you can actually kill them in like two or three shots. But at that point in time, I wasn't particularly interested in doing that. I'm sure there are videos of people doing a far better job of this on YouTube. Ageha. Ageha. You have no qualms about fighting your clansmen, even if they are already dead. Kobushi-sama told me what happened. I guess the Oboro village truly was destroyed. You left the Oboro clan. These are not the affairs of a rogue The Oboro are dead! You are the leader of nothing! Their deaths shall be avenged by my blade. I do not need your help. Voice acting. Leave here at once. Yeah, my city. Down, 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 down. Let's see. Yep. Story of my life. I think I managed to get an S once. Anyway, flashback. Moritsune! Stay back, Hosuma. You are the leader of the Oboro now. You must. Be strong. Hurry. Take the sword. Take Akujiki. Do not forget. My spirit 
shall forever be by your side. I'm rolling my eyes. Just, just so you know. Uh, now we come into the bit where it gets a bit annoying. Platforming is not this game's strongest suit due to its um, camera. And yet, platforming does comprise quite a bit of it. So let's, let's take a look here. There are ways to get that. Quite easy ways, actually. Wall running is a skill that does not really run out. Oh wow. Well. So, yeah, everything's back to fun. Fall in a, a ravine, you're dead. I've, I switched the controls, so usually you have stealth dash on a X and jump on circle, but I switched it to a more sensible X to jump and circle dash. But sometimes it's very easy to forget that. There you go. Get down here. Don't like those things. So here's another example of... I hate it when I do that. Top there. It never gets boring. Never ever used, never gets boring. So I need to go and get that coin. We do it the same way we did the other thing. We just... Pretty much worth that. See, I've already got that coin from a previous recording session, actually. Which didn't go to plan, I'm rather hoping this one does. It just didn't show any uh, video. That will open the gate. Um, if I remember correctly, the stealth dash is... You can um, reset it by attacking or, or, or targeting somebody. Thus, it can be loaded quite easily to use as a way of getting around. An environment without touching the ground. I would go and get that overall coin, but I'm kind of worried that I would end up dying and that would be rather boring for us all. So let's just keep moving. Okay, here we go. Here's an example of this as well. Last time I tried this it didn't quite work. There we go. So you saw it there. I reset my stealth dash after I tarted one of the uh, the flying things. Tarted. Now because there are only three of these guys, can't tarte them. It's four plus. I think the most I've ever tartated in one go is 12. As you can imagine, that can be a bit extreme. But, you know, the more you tartate, the more points you get. And the 
points mean? Points mean prizes? Higher scores. Tasty. Very difficult to reach that time. Oops. Thought he was around here somewhere. There are ways of getting around. But, oh, jeez. Do um, include using the uh, dash reset. Now, who could this be? The vermin has arrived. I know a guy with long grey hair who's with a ninja. Death, so dies the Oboro bloodline. Even That's the mighty Kobushi like lies dying on the steps the same of the armor as I am. No Master idea who he is. Huh? Oh, Akujiki. Uh, who could this masked my man be? Pain. My suffering. My taste the torture that I endure. My storyline. I suppose in that case you should just jump over him, but it's very hard to do that when you're so used to. Go off the damn roof. I am pushing back, so you should be doing the guard break, but you're not, are you? Like he's going to kill his own people. You're just going to keep spamming them. Man. You are. Right. Come on now. Come on. You see, that's how it should have been in the first go, but it just wouldn't. Mm. It just wouldn't work. Tasted my blood, drank of my soul, and has finally awakened. Is that a good thing? Not sure if that's a good thing. Whatever touch the missile. Well, whatever. So now we finally get into the real shinobi. Ready? I'm gonna open it! That's, none of this is interesting. So Akujiki, the cursed sword. What? Akujiki has awakened. And now it craves but one thing. The souls of people are made up of evil and good, yin and yang. Yin is the collection of all the hatred and pain that people feel inside. Akujiki has consumed the yin of men since ancient times. If left unfed, Akujiki will eat away at its wielder's soul. I fear for your life. I am prepared to face my fate. Hmm. Hellspawn. Is he running through the air? Uh, don't know. The yin of the Hellspawn seems to have abated Akujiki's hunger. I must save Master Kabuki. <clears throat> You're hurt. I will look for Kabushi-sama.
So what does all that mean? That means that you your health is drained if you don't feed Akujiki, which makes this game a lot more interesting. Uh, the thing though is that the more enemies that you kill in a Tate sequence, the stronger the blade becomes. So if you manage to the Tate, you know, a good number of bad guys, you can kill a boss in one hit if you have the combo going. For instance. Things start getting a lot faster. And you'll see it in the health section where the, in the bottom left hand corner. You see there's a like a a weird heart type thing. Looks like it's counting down when that's the current amount of units. And once that reaches zero, then you're in trouble. But as you see, as I kill more things, the, the blade glows. It starts blue. Oh, it's a. This is uh, Tengu. Tengu's can be cheap and fast. Especially when you're trying to use the thing against them, which might not even trigger. Come on, need more, need more. From going from what, not wanting to have any bad guys, you just tell what's all you want. The more bad guys are better, because it feeds your. Uh, your uh, Akujiki, and that means you don't lose health. And the more you kill on the Tate sequence, the stronger it becomes. So, you can see it's gone blue. Blue. And then it goes purple. And then it goes red. When it's red, you will hit one hit everything, pretty much. Bosses, super bosses, whatever. Well, that was red. See it's purple. Oh. I shall have my revenge. So yeah, there's a tango there. If I managed to You know it's a Oh come on! It's doing it again! It just won't trigger the goddamn It just won't do it! I don't know why! There! Thank, thank you! Why don't you just do it the first goddamn time? I don't know why it does that. All it is is goddamn back and square. Just sometimes it refuses to do it. See? Back and square. It's not difficult. You've got to keep Akujiki fed. Forgive me. You know, this is a lot faster than it was originally. Oh, loads of kunais all over the place. Kunais, etc. Forgive me. It's really kind of become like an arcade game, more than anything else. Let's see, so let's try this again with Mr. Tengu, shall we? Boss time? No, not quite. I said. Alright, let's see. 
Yeah, this annoys me. This really annoys me. It really annoys me. You're cheating. You're cheating. God damn it. It's blocked everything and I can't do anything about it because the goddamn button will not work. Anyway, here we go. Otsuma, let us rest in peace. Please, kill us. Shirogane, Akagane, not you too. So more of his former comrades. Master! In this case, it's usually a good idea to take out her first, because she... Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Why? Why is it? So, in this case... Come on, come on, take out the car down. They're right next to them, why are you taking them out? That's what she's not doing it. She's doing it again. No! This game, sometimes, it just... Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm done now. Like right that. And again. Why why is that triggering? I don't get this game sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps there's just a, a slight lag in the emulator software because I'm having to use an emulator because my PS2 capture card thing is broken. No! Yep, now that I deserve. I did actually dodge it, but hey, I couldn't hit the first, remember? Just stand still. That's half his health. Oh, not for that. I'll do. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get a C, always going to get a C, and there you have it, uh, a really good game marred by poor controls and a terrible camera, as with many action games, should only be on the Playstation 2. I didn't do it justice because I was having such problems with uh, the guard break, but you know, sometimes it happens. Anyway, thanks for watching.